Guys, it's one thing to just do a walk around of a camper and a truck and it's a whole another story to actually live with it. So in this video I'm taking the Super Tremor and the four wheel camper to the lake for a weekend trip with the boat and I'm also going to show you exactly what it's like to live with the camper like this and the truck and also towing a trailer for the weekend. So let's start by setting up camp. As you can see right here, the truck is at the designated camping spot. So this is not an overland adventure. This is basically a lake adventure. The lake is actually right there. I already dropped off the trailer. The boat is in the water. And here I am, I am plugged into shore power. So basically, very simply I'm using 120 right now extension cable going to this outlet right here and this provides me a couple things it charges my house batteries in this hawk four-wheel camper and also allows me to use the wall outlets on the inside all right next up the outdoor shower i gotta get cleaned up a little bit and also flush the tank get some fresh water in there so I need to use up the water uh, so let me do that here's the water pump switch right there you could feel it running and builds pressure now off and here I can check my fresh tank status right now it's about half about a 12 gallon tank and then battery I'm fully charged on battery also using solar most of the day but also running on shore power for part of the night there's also water heater on board so if it's cold you could use hot water as well as cold obviously I've been running the sink just to see if, how it's working so I'm gonna drain a little bit of water actually not much there's also a bag so if you have dirty water you can actually drain it into a bag instead of draining it into uh, the campsite or just randomly because many parks and areas have rules against it so all of that is available all right so the Sun is beginning to set so it's time to set up. Here are some LED lights on top. Obviously the top is already popped up and I got all of my stuff here. All right, so here's the dinette in the center. And this is my bed for tonight because the kids really wanted to sleep up top. So this table swivels and also folds down into the bed. And I actually slept here last night as well. And I can tell you, being 6'2", I fit great. I was worried about the length of this bed. But in the end, it was okay. So, let me just quickly set it up. All right, it's made. I did a little wardrobe change. It's cooling off here in the mountains and over here just want to show you the length of this bed I'm just over 6'2 and as you can tell there's plenty of space I was a little worried about this but the overall length and width of this section is 6'5 of course there's windows wall thickness but for me, being just over 6'2", there's still plenty of space here. And this, these cushions are pretty comfy. Uh, just kind of the right firmness for me. So I'm uh, happy as a clam right now.
right, so it's one of those set times where we have to pack up camp and go home. So I need to put away this hitch step and put on the Gen Y heavy duty hitch so I can hook up the boat so we can get home. Hitch step is gone. And now I'm using this Boss Torsion Flex hitch. Two and a half inch shank, massive, heavy duty. We're using lots of heavy duty stuff. The receiver is a Carly Trophy hitch made for large tires so we can put a large tire underneath. This is a very heavy duty, height adjustable steel Gen Y Boss hitch. It's called Torsion Flex because it's got torsion axles in here and it helps cushion the load. Of course, we're not towing a very heavy duty trailer. The boat is about 6,000 pounds with the trailer, but this hitch is rated at 16,000 maximum and 1.7 or 1,700 pounds tongue weight. So this is way too much hitch for what we're towing today. And also here's my rating on a brand new four-wheel campers, truck camper Hawk you see behind me. After spending two nights with this camper living at the lake, I give it eight and a half out of 10. One being the worst and 10 being the absolute best camping experience of them all. One point I took off because this one does not have an AC. It's optional though, so that's very easily fixable. And I took another half point for the door. I think this door is just a little small for kind of bigger guys like me. Other than that, it's perfect. It was easy to use stove, sink, shower, solar, fridge. Everything is super great, including the beds. Well, there you have it, guys. This trip is over. I became one with the camper with the truck and of course the whole rig in general as far as towing the trailer I gotta tell you guys this suspension from Carly uh, when you add weight to it it's designed just the right way because the truck rides even better loaded rather than just the camper on the truck so the suspension is very heavy duty can handle a lot of weight and is also comfortable the suspension also has another benefit when you're sleeping in a camper and you're moving in bed, you're turning, um, you have a tendency of moving the vehicle you're sleeping on. And that would be the same case um, as if you were in a rooftop tent. So actually, because the suspension is so good, it kind of cushions those movements. Um, I was in my old truck, my old Chevy, uh, 2002 uh, Duramax, and that truck with a camper would be rolling around because it had old suspension. 8.7. This is not corrected for the tires, so it's probably more like 9.7 maybe, or 9.5. Still, it's just under 10. And uh, yeah, um, that's um, a price to pay for having lots of fun. Hauling a lot of weight, 6,000 pound trailer plus 9,000 pound truck, including the camper. It's just really comfortable drive. Suspension handled the highway really well. The truck was didn't feel like it was straining too much. Let's see how this thing accelerates, huh? Tow mode enabled.
<laughs> this truck just sounds great. And yes, it's slowish with the trailer, but it just feels okay. It just feels big and powerful like you're a king of the road. For now, I'm signing off and go back to tfltruck.com for the latest news, views and real world truck camping and towing reviews. Thanks.